By direction of the President of the United States, stay in your homes. I repeat, stay in your homes. Johnny, can we trust what we're being told by mainstream news? Yeah, mainstream news. Well, I don't know whether you can trust any bloody thing, Johnny. But there's something that's caught my attention just recently. What are you talking about? That's going to change the whole bloody way we see and view news. What are you talking about? Have a look at this. This is a channel where all their news presenters are AI generated. Have a look. Have a look. Hello. And welcome to Channel One, a new way of consuming, reporting, and thinking about the news powered by artificial intelligence. Today, you'll witness AI-generated stories and headlines, captivating visuals and data-driven insights. From global news to finance to entertainment, we'll show you how technology enables us to bring you a global perspective 24-7, right from the heart of our AI-native newsroom. All presented by our team of AI-generated reporters. AI presenters? Are you bloody kidding me? Maybe you hear the words artificial intelligence and you're immediately skeptical or concerned about technology gone crazy. But everything you'll see on Channel One relies on trusted sources and fact-checking and uses AI to give you news the way you want it. AI? The whole bloody broadcast? Let's start with our reporters. You can hear us and see our lips moving. But no one was recorded saying what we're all saying. I'm powered by sophisticated systems behind the scenes. And I can speak in any language. Για παράδειγμα, αυτή τη στιγμή μιλάω στα ελληνικά. Ο κομ πινάπανοτ μου αχω μουλά σα μαϊνίλα, μαρούνο αχω μαξαλιτά να φιλιππίνο. Για να κομ ταμουρ πέσα τυρίουμ ιντρνίγκαλ γιούγι τυρκα μαρτύρχελ ιντρνάν ναμπουγυρίν. In fact, you can see even more language samples on our website. Channel One's anchors can even be completely generated to have their own personality, appearance, and voice. Oh, can that be possible? Now, you might say, Johnny, that people aren't going to cop that. And they're not going to bloody want to watch bloody AI-generated news presenters. Right, yes, yes, of course. But they say that about everything they used to say when TV first came, that, that people don't have enough time to sit around in their ass and watch a bloody screen. Yeah, it hasn't worked out that way. But Johnny, what does this mean for television in general? You mark my words, Johnny. If channels, bloody studios or whatever can make more money by not having real presenters, they'll bloody do it. Yeah, yeah. We won't need actors at all. And one day you could have your own bloody favourite news presenter reading the news. Right, but what about... Yeah, you might like some bloody black bloke reading the news to you. Or some white girl. <laughs> or a Chinese bloody black person, or you might want, or you might want to watch a newsreader with their bloody tits hanging out. <coughs> yeah, a tits hanging out. If they can do all that, then they can just eat. Oh, Johnny, I don't know whether that's gonna ever happen. If they can do all that, then they can just as easily uh, make an attractive looking bloody newsreader reading the news with their tits hanging out. Are you bloody kidding me? Channel One's anchors can even be completely generated to have their own personality, appearance, and voice. In fact, if you take it further, Johnny, you might be able to get your news being read by some woman who's bloody having sex while she's reading the news. Oh my fucking God! Oh, Johnny, 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 Johnny. If you get the right bloody software and you hit the right buttons and pay 20 bucks a month, you can have a sex bloody... Well, I suppose it will. Well, you won't know what's bloody real. There would have to be some sort of a system board in where it categorically says what you're watching is live. Right. Yes, of course. But I don't know whether anyone would give a shit, Johnny. Well, it could bloody... Now, all this probably, Johnny, isn't going to happen in the next couple of years. In five years, it'll be more prevalent. In ten years, it'll be even better and there'll be more of it. In bloody 20 years, there'll be no fucking live people doing anything. Not even on the Ask Johnny channel. Let me rest. But let me tell you categorically, Johnny, we're never going to be AI generated. It's going to be you and me doing this bloody stuff in real time, in person. A newsreader with their boobs out? Otherwise, we may as well just fucking pack up and go home. <laughs> so if they can save any money by not paying bloody Tom Cruise or something, they... <laughs> Oh, fucking bullshit.